you staring at? Ain't you ever seen a gent before? No, I haven't. Are you tired? I've been running hard. Hungry? Starving. Got no mother? No. Father? No. Lovely weather we're having today, don't you think? Uh, staying in London? Yes. Got any lodgings? No. Money? Not a farthing. Do you live in London? When I'm at home. I suppose you'll need some place to sleep tonight, don't you? Are you accommodated? No. I... I don't think so. Then accommodated you shall be, me old mate. There's a certain house and... And I know a respectable old gentleman lives there. Well, it's going to be lodgings for no thing, and never ask for the change. Who is this respectable old gentleman? Is he a charitable gentleman? Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Not exactly. But if I introduce someone, it's all right. On account of I happen to be a particular favorite of Mr. Fagin. That's his name, Mr. Fagin. Well, my name's Oliver. Oliver Twist. And I'm Jack Dawkins. <laughs> better known among your more intimate friends, as the awful Dodger. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dawkins. Are you sure Mr. Fagin won't mind? Mind? Pocket handkerchiefs. 
Why not the other ain't there? Just on the map. Ready for the wash. The wash. <laughs> that's all, Emma, that's all. <laughs> Is this a laundry then, sir? <laughs> well, not exactly, my boy. I suppose the laundry would be a very nice thing indeed. But our line of business pays a little better. Don't it, boys? No! Yes, if you go on this way, 
you'll be the greatest gentleman of all time. <laughs> yes, you're quite the man now. You've got a home and a profession, eh, boys? Yeah. Now, bedtime, all of you, and no flashlight time. <laughs> all of it, you can sleep down there. Settle down, boys. Settle down. You've got to pick a pocket or two, boys. You've got to pick a pocket or two. I'm a real miser, you know. But can I help it? I just like to look at it. It's my little pleasure. A cup of coffee and a quick counter. <laughs> I mean, He's gonna look after me in the old age. Uh, you? <laughs> well, you! You! What are you doing away? What have you seen? Quick, quick! Speak! I want to hear every detail! I'm very sorry, sir. I couldn't fall asleep. I'm very sorry if I disturbed you, sir. Do you see any of my pretty things, my dear? Yes, sir. Uh, well, they're mine, Oliver! Mine! All I have to live on to be old age. Do you think I can get out now, sir? Certainly, my boy, certainly. There's a basin of water over the fire. Go have yourself a wash. But I had a wash yesterday, sir. Well, today is your birthday. Wash! Let me in, slam! It's Nancy! Wake up, boys! The ladies are here! Well, that's a fact if you don't mind. Where's the chip? All in moderation, my dear. Too much gin can be a very dangerous thing for a pure young girl. What's wrong with drop of danger then, Mr. Fagin? After all, that's the only bit of excitement we have around here. And you deny us that small pleasure, would you? Nancy and Beth, 
Charmed to meet you. Oh, yes, we're all ladies and gentlemen here. We're all quality. Oh, yes! You wouldn't know quality if you saw it. None of you. Except Dodge. Have you seen the way them quality gentlemen treat their ladies? Of course I have. Shall we show them how it's done? Righty ho. Don't let your petty coat hang in the mud, my darling. And I'll go last. No, I'll go last. I'll go last. Nobody mentions 
by name Rich men only oh, find her new self saves me Empty in the coops out there No, I could tell it throat out Just to live up to my name to say his prayers. My sense of life and I am gonna fit for doing up a murder. If I just so much as heard a blow, even whisper my name, Bill Sykes! Oh, 
Oh, yes. Now, Oliver, I want you to take these books to the bookseller and say that you've come to pay the four pounds ten that Mr. Brownlow owes. Here's five pounds. I shall expect you back in ten minutes. Very good, sir. Now we shall see Dr. Grimwig. Ten minutes. Victor, Charles, how, how, how are you? Are you? How are you? How are you? I was at the oh, pub in God. London. I was just Fantastic. A splendid. I really fancy this. Oh, my dear little brother. Let go of me. Let go of me. I found him. Oliver, oh, Oliver, my dear little brother. Where have you been? We've been worried out of our heads. Come home, dear. Come home. I found him. Oh, thank goodness gracious. What's the matter, love? Oh, Eve ran away two weeks ago from his parents. They were hard working, respectable people, and went and joined some thieves. Almost broke him with his heart. Make him come home! A young rat, go home, you little fruit! I won't! She's not my sister! I've got no sister! I've got no mother or father me! Just listen to him! Ben, you tell him to let me go! See? He recognizes his little sister! He can't like that! Make him come home! What the devil's this? Young Oliver, come home to your poor mother, you brute. What books are these? They're Mr. Brownlow's. You've been stealing again, haven't you? He's nothing but a thief and a vagabond. Come home, you young villain. Come on, Oliver. I don't want children. Don't. <laughs> I'm 
finding it hard to be really as black as they paint. Nothing left. 
fucking kills your fuck! <laughs> Come, Oliver. I'll take you home now.
people ask me, how do you do a Broadway musical in two and a half weeks? And I say because of the talent that we have at Camp Barry and Camp Louise, it's possible. So at this moment, I just want to thank a couple of people. Um, firstly, and some people who don't see, um, I'd like to uh, first thank our amazing tech group headed by Sabi. Thank you to our Camp Area Orchestra, headed by Marshall White with Ben and Boston. The magnificent Oliver set you see before you tonight was created by a whole bunch of people, but primary thanks to Ian Reagan and Jakob Weinstein. But most of all, most of all, um, I want to give my heartfelt thanks to our 2013 Drama Department crew, Ricky Lasser. Say that enough, you can clap again for Steve Goldfarb. 